Hello, it's me again. My name is Oksana and you are watching um, I hope it's your favorite channel Family Life in Rural Ukraine and um, you can see Orest, my husband, he is carrying stuff from our shop. I don't know if you know but we own the shop in the village and our village is very small. It has only 70 inhabitants and this um, uh, shop doesn't bring any um, income and it survives just because uh, um, we have uh, the project that is called Bank of Clothes and people from the big cities they uh, send us clothes that they don't need anymore and uh, people in the village uh, they buy these clothes for a really small amounts like 5 grivnas, 10 grivnas, 20 grivnas, it depends on the uh, thing they want to buy and uh, this money they go to uh, make any uh, make renovations in the shop and uh, uh, to make it live and also on the base of this shop uh, there is a library and uh, people from the village and from the nearby villages and towns they come here and uh, use it for free and it's completely free and it has as for Ukrainian library, it has very good collection and it has books in many, in different languages and uh, uh, a lot of books are super new, are like uh, not more than 20 years old and uh, bright and fun and colorful, especially for the kids and I'm kind of proud of this project and it lives already for two years two years ago we had a volunteer camp and we won the grant from the British Council uh, to uh, to make the library inside of this shop and super cool people came here and they had a lot of fun and uh, uh, this um, also a lot of cool people they sent us books and if you have any books especially English books uh, for kids uh, that you don't need anymore you can send us we will be happy and our co collection will be even more unique and uh, kids will get the chance to love America love uh, England love everything that is connected to the English language through bright and funny books that we sometimes read to them and uh, now we are going we had too much clothes that um, in, in these two years we had uh, uh, some clothes that uh, people in the village don't need uh, so we it's our second tour to the Zavodske, it's the t town close to Lochvice, it's like 30 kilometers from us and uh, they have the Ukrainian Orthodox Church uh, with a lot of, um, with a b rather big community and they need uh, clothes and they will just give them out uh, for free, just to free the space for the new things that will come to our place. So. In some way we provide clothes not only for Hristanivka and the relatives of Hristanivka, it's also for uh, the people that need clothes Hello. and that can come to the church in Zavitska and uh, take it in English. And this is very cool book, awesome Ukraine. And if you are interested about any information in the super cool and up to date and fun and super super first hand information about Ukraine it's in this book and this is kind of old we have also the reader from the school that we this text we used to learn by heart when we and I'm happy that we have this opportunity and it's all thanks to our uh, friends and volunteers and people that have uh, some spirits to support what we do and you can also join everybody can join we are very open for the for the cooperation interactions and so on uh, and uh, so we are going to bring those clothes to Zovetska and then we will go to the village called Luka and in Luka we want to buy and in Luka we want to buy the goat the brown one uh, that gives like will give us about three liters of milk every day because we don't have 
enough now and uh, I'm very excited and we, we were thinking of the, of buying gold for three or four months already but now I've um, I saw I, I, I was looking for something else but I found this gold uh, in the internet and called uh, them today and they are waiting for us at about two o'clock and I'll show you our trip. So now we are in Brescia, this is the part of a uh, town called Zavetske and uh, this is the Orthodox church I was telling you about and we are carrying stuff to the church from our car. This is the lady that works in the church. And now we are going to this uh, old school. This is from the same time that we have in our village, and in kind of kind of a bit better condition. And I hope you will get the idea of this uh, style. And it is uh, called Ukrainian uh, modern architecture, and it was made by. Uh, architect uh, with the last name Flastion and his family now uh, lives in the United States and he died in 1933 um, during Holodomor in Ukraine. So how many windows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from one side. How many do we have? We have like six and uh, there were three, three types of school for 50 uh, students for 100 and for 150 and it this one looks like the one for 100 uh, students and our school is for 50 uh, so it's kind of different uh, project but the same the same idea as you can see now it is a library it is not a school anymore it says Zavetska Miska Biblioteka number 2 Zavod uh, town library number two, Poltava region, Lochvice district. It says it said that it works on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays from ten to seven or till five, and it, it looks like it really works, even though it is in it's not in the perfect condition. These, these schools are known for the, their uh, different decorations and they are from Ukrainian uh, embroidery and each school has its own embroidery and our school doesn't have any. So now, so now you know about uh, a unique ensemble of uh, schools around Lofvetsa district that were built 100 years ago and um, they are built in the style that is called Ukrainian uh, modern architecture and it is very beautiful and uh, it used the features which features of um, the everyday architecture um, the, the old Ukrainian architectures uh, some features from uh, schools and uh, old houses and old churches and it's kind of a combination of uh, uh, Ukrainian features that were common in Ukraine before the 20th century and it was all combined in one project to build the schools that look like to build the school that look like really uh, Ukrainian schools and you can say that it is the school and super important place in the village. It's one of the biggest buildings in the in each uh, village and it's they are also located in the super um, 
super picturesque plate places. It doesn't have to be in the center of the village. It's, it's usually in the in the most uh, beautiful uh, place in the village. And this one looks like it is really really nice and needs also some attention. And now we are going. Uh, we've made the first part of the plan. We've left uh, the stuff in the church. And now we are going to Zavodske. We have to spend another hour uh, and then to go to the uh, place where we buy uh, food that we sell in the shop. And I guess I will show you the place also. Let's go! We are in the center of Zavodske and we just got uh, some cash from the ATM and we are hanging out, going to hang out here for about 40 minutes and have a nice walk, we'll try. We found a really nice spot that is called Yirachok, that means uh, hedgehog in Ukrainian. And one of my um, viewers he said that hedgehog are not very common in the US and uh, they cost 100 bucks for one if you want to have it as a pet. So he said we can make the business because we have a lot of uh, hedgehogs and my uh, dogs they uh, chase them every time. And, uh, this spot is called Yizhachok and because Yizha in Ukrainian is food and the first part, part, part is about food and uh, I like the prices and we have uh, this uh, type of spot in Lokvice and I like their food and uh, here we'll try how it works in Zavitska and uh, we bought a lot of food I'll, I'll show you and it, uh, uh, I've paid 203 grivnas it's uh, around uh, eight uh, dollars or like seven euro and I guess it's not it's not expensive for the family of um, four four people I will show you everything another junk food tour I guess everybody enjoys it french fries pizza chips even plus eats it he usually doesn't like anything outside the house I guess I have the healthiest junk food choice as I have salad in it and boiled um, chicken nothing too hard and if the, there is also almost no bread it's like lavash so I'll be the healthiest one so here is the place where we buy food for our shop order now and then he will carry it out to the car and this is how it looks like very, very informal and not too beautiful but it's kind of cheap and they work especially for the village uh, for the village shops so small towns are a very strange combination of the old village some abandoned spots and these big blocks flats. Here is our
Вона зараз тобі наваляє. Ой, пес до пес такий. Прикольний режим. So we decided to buy two goats, one with milk, and uh, she's uh, two years old, two and a half. She had uh, kids two times already, and one is, uh, she didn't have uh, kids yet, she's five months old, but she has, uh, she already has some milk in her breast, I, and uh, I think it's kind of a sign that she will have a lot of milk uh, later. So. Yeah, we'll take uh, both of them, because we really, really, really need milk. We have milk lovers in the family. So we have two more passengers now, and we'll take care of four kids now. Two of mine. I want the male goat, he is so handsome, so great, so big, so white, and I hope I'll come back for him. They doesn't sell him before I come back to the village in two weeks, but I really loved him. So now we have two females and both of his milks. Oh. So it's, uh, that's, that's it for today, we did a lot today and we had a great ride and we've got two new goats and uh, we have a lot of stuff to do now and geese are coming so you see we have this small geese, not ducklings but geeslings. So subscribe, subscribe to our channel, press likes, comment, ask questions, we'll be happy to answer and to see what are you interested in and what is maybe making you feel weird. See you!